Elizabeth, this is a dramatic increase, is it not? Jake, it is so dramatic that now when you look at this group of teenagers, when you look at teenagers in general, they are actually using e-cigarettes more than they're using cigarettes. So e-cigarette usage has surpassed cigarette usage for teenagers. And when you look at these numbers, Jake, you can really understand just how much it's jumped. So when you look at high schoolers, the usage went from just over half a million uh, in 2013 to 2 million the following year. And for middle schoolers, it went from 120,000 to 450,000. Those are huge jumps in one year. And, you know, you can see when we were looking at that video, these cigarettes, they just look different. And I think sometimes teenagers think, well, they can't be that bad, right? I mean, they're pretty colors. They smell like bubble gum or green apple. They must not be that bad. But what the CDC said today, Jake, is nicotine is nicotine. And nicotine is terrible for the developing brain of an adolescent, no matter what form of nicotine it is. Some say that there is some good news in, the, in this report in the sense that actual cigarette use is down. But of course, there's the e-cigarette rise, plus kids seem to be finding alternatives such as uh, hookahs. The, these, these numbers have also spiked. Right. So hookah use has actually doubled in that same time period. And, you know, with hookahs, what's interesting and, and particularly dangerous is that, you know, you might sit around for, let's say, an hour having a hookah session. Well, that is an incredible amount of nicotine. So you're getting, let's say, 200 puffs Whereas if you were just smoking a cigarette, it might be 20 puffs. So that is, you know, the, the, for the hookahs, it's the duration that's really part of the issue. What can parents do about this other than have that stern lecture? Right. Well, one thing I'm going to tell you you can't do, unfortunately, is you can't just smell your kid's breath. I know that was, that was what my parents did. That's what, you know, all parents would, would, would do because they want to see if your kid's smoking cigarettes or not. Just for the record, I wasn't. But, you know, the smart parents would check their kid's breath. This stuff actually smells good. So your kid's breath might actually smell kind of fruity. So that's not going to work. I think you have to be very explicit with your with your middle schooler or teen and explain that these things may look harmless and may look colorful, but in fact it's not harmless. I think part of it is that is the kids just don't understand the nature of these products.